meaning we're in balance. So this last account that we're going to put the difference in is an account that we're going to call cash over short. So if we look over here, the cash over short is going to be an account that's going to be on the income statement. And hopefully the, the amount will be small in that it will be basically immaterial uh, to the, in, in the numbers within the income statement. And note that it could either be a debit or a credit, whether, rather, or, or, you know, depending on whether or not we are over or short. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it right here. And then we can post this out. So let's see what happens. We're going to go to the jam turtle in I10. I'm going to say equals and then point to this 78. That will make this amount go up because the expense is going up in the debit direction. Put us out of bounds. Bring net income down. Then we're going to go to the miscellaneous expense. So miscellaneous expense in cell I14 equals. We're going to point to this 6368. That will make this expense go up and it will make net income go down. We're then going to go to the postage. Postage is here in I13. Say equals and we're going to point to this 4350. That's going to make this amount go up in the direct debit direction and make net income go down. Then we're going to go to advertising. Advertising is in cell I16. We're going to say equal and point to that 5715. That's going to make this go up in the debit direction and bring net income down. Then we're going to go to the cash. We're going to go to cash up here. There's something in it. Therefore, I'm going to double click on it, go to the end of it and say plus and then point to this 23083. This is a credit. This is a debit. They're the opposite things. Therefore, cash is going to go down, which makes sense because we wrote a check. We are now off by the 1150, which is the over or short. So we're going to go to the over or short in cell I17 equals and point to this 1150 and once we hit enter, this will go up, bring net income down, put us back. Actually, it's going to bring net income up and that's going to put us back in balance. So note that this over short can go either way. It's not an expense account. It's basically an account that could have an income effect, having an increase in net income or a decrease rather based on whether or not we are over or short. Also note that the petty cash remains at the 250, which is correct now because we have now replenished the petty cash with this uh, amount, with this check, bringing the total back up to where we want to basically keep it at at any given time at that 250. Then of course, we're going to spend the petty cash throughout the next time period, and we will record the journal entry to bring it back to 250 at, in this case, uh, well, in this case, on 516, we want to increase this petty cash balance. So instead of just having 250 in there at any given time, we would like to get the max balance up to 450. So on uh, 516, we're going to do that by saying 516. We're going to increase the petty cash balance. So of course, we're going to write a check out of the cash account. Once again, cash has a debit balance. We're going to make it go down by doing the opposite thing to it, which in this case would be a credit. So I'm going to copy the cash. I'm going to put the credit on the bottom, meaning here's the date. I'm going to put it underneath in cell 616 right click and paste it one two three we're going to put the credit in cell e16 i'm going to say it's a negative and put the amount that we will need which will be the 200 to bring this up to 450. so i'm going to hit Control enter and that will put the brackets around it because now we're on the cell rather than in the cell then we're going to need a debit of the same amount What's, what's going to be the debit account? It will be petty cash because we're going to put it into petty cash. The point of this journal entry bringing petty cash up to a balance of 450. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the petty cash. I'm going to put it in cell C15, right click and paste it one, two, three. Then we can post this out. So there's something in petty cash. I'm going to double click on it, go to the end of it and say plus and then point to this petty cash here. This is a debit. That's a debit. Therefore, it's going to make this go up because the same thing makes it go up to what we wanted it to be, which is 450. Then I'm going to post the cash. There's something in it. I'm going to double click on it, go to the end of it, say plus, then go down to the 200 and enter. And that will bring the cash balance down, put us back in balance. Now we're going to go to the next time that on uh, 530, where we take a look at the expenditures within the petty cash. We're going to count the receipts that are in there and replenish 
the petty cash fund up to our new balance of 450. So obviously time has passed, uh, people have spent money out of the petty cash, they put the receipts in there, and we need net to now replenish it as of 531, the end of the month. So we have now paid postage expenses. So once again, we're gonna look for the expense. Here's postage expense. It's an expense, expenses have debit balance. I'm gonna make it go up by doing the same thing. I'm gonna copy that, gonna put it in cell C18, right click, paste it one, two, three. And that will be for 48.36. Then we have the reimbursement of manager mileage. So I'm gonna put that into an expense, the mileage expense. Once again, we might put it into auto expense or something like that. Depends how specific we want to get. So we have a mileage expense here. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste that here, paste in it one, two, three. It will be a debit once again because expenses generally go up and that means they're gonna go up in the debit direction for 38.50. Paid deliver uh, merchandise to customer. So we deliver the merchandise to the customer. So we have a delivery expense down here. So we can put it into the delivery expense. Once again, it's an expense. It's going to go up by uh, doing the same thing to it, which in this case, which is another debit. Expenses go up with debits. So we're going to say the 39.75 here. So we now have remaining petty cash after we counted to be 288.39. So we picked up the cash in the lockbox. We counted it. it comes out to be 288.39 we want to bring it back up to this 450. So how can we bring it back up to the 450? We're going to have to write a check for 450 minus what's in there, 288.39, means we need to write a check for 161.61. That, of course, will be coming out of the cash. Cash is going to have to go down. So therefore, cash is a debit balance. We're going to make it go down by doing the opposite thing to it. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it in cell C21. Right click, paste it, one, two, three going to put it in cell C uh, E21, negative 161.61, control enter, puts us back on the cell, and there we have our amount. Now we're going to see if this balances, and of course the debits only add up to uh, 126.61, and the credits add up to um, 161.61. Therefore we need another debit. So I'm going to do that we by putting our plug formula, which is the negative SUM of the debits, this plus this plus this, minus this, and enter. And that'll give us the 35, so that the debits now equal the credits. And I'm gonna put that into cash over in short, and paste it one, two, three. And you'll note that I did put a debit on the bottom. Now, to be completely proper, we want all the debits on top, but if this helps you to formulate the worksheet, I would actually do what makes most sense for you to formulate the worksheet and the journal entry and then go back and see what happened to it. In this case, I like the over and short being at the top on the bottom, I mean, so that we can have that formula to plug it in there. So for me, it's worth it to have it a bit out of order in order to have the over and short be where I would like it to be, uh, which is down on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and record this now, which is the postage. I'm gonna double click on postage, go to the end of it, plus, point to the 4836 and enter. We'll then go to the mileage, something, uh, and the mileage is right here in cell I50, so I'm gonna say equals, and then the 3850 and enter. We're gonna look for the delivery expense, so delivery expense is down here at the bottom, so I'm gonna say equals, point to the delivery, and enter. And then we're gonna reduce the cash. I'll go all the way up to the top in I5, double click on it, go to the end, plus this 161.61 will bring cash down. And now we can see that we're off by the over short, which is the $35. So we'll go to the over short balance, double click on that, go to the end of it, plus, and point to this 35, and that should bring us back in balance, bring net income down. Last entry is we're going to decide that 400 we want to bring the balance down to 400 so instead of having it at the 450 we're going to bring it down to a level balance of 400 so as of 531 we're going to we're going to take the cash out of petty cash so we'll just take the 50 we'll put it back into our checking account therefore what's going to happen to cash is cash affected it's going to go up we're actually going to have a deposit from the petty cash to the cash cash has a debit balance we're going to make it go up by doing the same thing to it which in this case would be another debit. So the cash being like our checking account. 
and that will go up by 50. And then we're going to credit 50 and the credit will go to petty cash because petty cash is going to go down by that 50 to bring this balance down to 400 even. I'm going to copy that and paste it one, two, three here. And then let's post this out and see if it does what we want. So I'm going to double click on cash, go to the end of it and plus go to the cash account and enter cash should go up. Then double click on petty cash, go to the end of it and plus go to this 50 credit. And when we hit enter, this will go down to 400, put us back in balance. The end.